Starting with Withering Heights, it's gonna be game one. Rat versus Hapro. Uh, what does this map offer in the particular matchup, and how do you think they're they're gonna start most likely uh, with a safe build or fast expand? Well, uh, you know, I think that this is going to be pretty much a macro map. Um, it, I think that the Terran is going to want to get a lot done safely at first, and then macro mode. And he's going to want to get a lot done from just two bases, because taking a third on this map, it's very far away. And for a Terran player, that's that's pretty hard to defend against a Zerg. You know, you can just run some lurks up, run some lings up. It's hard to defend, so... I think we're going to see Brat hit two bases and start macroing, and then uh, it's going to be a war against the third and fourth bases of the Zerg. Alright, well, thanks to all the viewers for your patience. Once again, we have those uh, small hiccups. Uh, a big, big thanks to Razor uh, for sponsoring the tournament. It, it, we wouldn't be able to do it to the uh, level we are doing it right now, and uh, th they offer quality gamer products. And I mean, I, I, even my mouse is like a death adder. And, uh, Thank you once again for sponsoring us. Thank you for uh, sponsoring um, many multi-gaming teams. Uh, and we're about to go. Can you get? It's showtime. All right, and uh, here we go. We have TVZ, Haypro versus Brat, and we are on Withering Heights. We have Brat in the top right as Terran, and Haypro in the top left as Zerg. Really exciting matchup here. Uh, you know, Haypro, uh, a little bit of con controversy a while back, but he is a legit player. He is a really great player. A very strong macro Zerg. Going up against Brat, one of the, the new top uh, Russian Terrans. You know, normally we're used to seeing Android Advocate X, but uh, you know, they're gone. They are out of this already. Advocate falling in the top 32, X in the top 48, and we are left with Brat. In fact, he's the last Terran left in the tournament, so uh, everyone's got to be cheering for him to do well here. Um, what builds do you think are most likely for uh, Zerg to open with on this map? We see he's starting to scout uh, straight ahead for the right position that his opponent is at. You know, I think that uh, we're probably going to see just a quick expand by Haypro into three hatcheries, into mutas, into a fourth hatch. He's a, he's a very macro-oriented player. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's exactly what he's going to want to do. He's got to feel pretty confident. He's... He's been practicing a lot for this match, and he's shown very good results in practice, so that's what I think we'll see. And uh, as for Brad, I know, uh, Vol, you've been watching Brad quite a bit lately. What do you think we're going to see out of him? Well, that's a really interesting thing to, to note. Um, a lot of the games we've been seeing in the group stage and just yesterday's, uh, yesterday's uh, list of games, uh, we saw some situations where one player would feel like the underdog and try some try some cheese or, or whatever against the, the superior player. But with with, with guys like Hapo and Brat, I mean, I think both players are going to play uh, fairly confidently and standardly because neither player sort of is, is so well known and so feared and re reputable that it's going to seem like a big deal. But um, just looking at what Brat's doing now, he's got his double barracks. Oh, sorry, not a double barracks. I thought it was going to be a second barracks going down, but he's got his barracks right up at the top, and he's looking like he's going to be walling in. Uh, not the best position to wall in, but uh, he, he definitely looks like he might be going for either some kind of aggressive build or a very fast expansion. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do here, but he, he could possibly be trying to trick Bra uh, sorry, April into thinking that he's going fast expand and then building some more barracks, but that overall is probably close enough to see the command center, so I'm not too sure. What would and, uh, be the uh, downfall of uh, choking at that point, Artosis? Well, uh, one second, we'll get right back to that. We see that uh, 
Brat here has actually gone for Rax before a Depot, and he's waited for two Marines. He's sending a lot of SCVs over. And hey, pro, his pool is almost done right now. He's bringing a lot of drones down. Looks like he has about eight or nine drones down at the choke, ready to fight. But there are five SCVs. If Brat micros very well here, he can definitely kill a lot of drones. And look at this. He's trying to kill this drone in the choke. If he kills, he can put up a Depot and stop Zerling reinforcements. Drones come out, start attacking. Looks like hey, pro will kill the first Marine, but drones are starting to fall. They're getting low health. Couple Marines still left there. SCVs attacking, blocking the drones. Paypro trying to put up the sunken colony, and a depot goes up in the choke. That is deadly. The Zerglings cannot get out, and it looks like Brat is going to take a really quick first game here. Paypro is losing all of his drones. His entire economy is dropping. SCVs killing the sunken colony, and it looks like Brat, as opposed to us thinking that he was going to go for uh, a normal build. It looks like he has cheese Hey Pro here, and he is way ahead. Look at this. Zerling's falling, and Hey Pro just exits the game. GG. Brat takes a really quick first game here. And that's all, folks. Yeah. I mean, some of us might have not expected that, but it seemed to be so effective and executed down to perfection. How would you rate that for a rush? You know, that, that was a strong rush, and I gotta say, Brat was a little bit lucky there that uh, Hey Pro was in the right location you know he was right close to him the closest spot he could be so it made the rush that more effective filthy filthy terrence with uh, scv rushes and bunkers <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now come on now if i could just comment about that i think what brett was looking for is just the fact that there was that choke point uh just outside of the natural expansion what he took advantage of um I definitely think that he uh, he planned that for that particular map. He thought, man, I don't really want to get into a macro management game with Haypro. Why don't I just try that and block the uh, that, that small choke while putting a bunker down? And it would work perfectly. You know, that's a that's a good point. That the map is good for things like that. Um, you know, maybe even better than Tau Cross or something like that because the uh, choke to the expansion is so open that you really get in there and micro very strongly with an SCV wall.